Gary Neville likened Arsenal midfielder Jorginho's composed class performance at Newcastle to a vintage display from Paul Scholes. Jorginho delivered a man-of-the-match display at St. James's Park as Arsenal kept their Premier League title hopes alive with a hard-fought two goals to zero victory on Super Sunday. Italy international Jorginho epitomized the composed display from Mikel Arteta's title chasers, as the Gunners blended streetwise tenacity with moments of quality to avenge the damaging defeat they suffered on Tyneside last season. The selection of Jorginho was critical, Neville told the Gary Neville podcast. It was brave from Mikel Arteta, and the right decision, obviously he played him in midweek, but the easy thing would have been to look at the energy and physicality of Newcastle's midfield and go and fight like for like with Thomas Partey. But that mentoring Arteta had off Pep Guardiola is probably to do the opposite. Twenty years ago, it wouldn't even have been a consideration, you'd put your most physical players out. You'd get the ball and make sure in the first half an hour you dug in. But Arsenal passed their way. No one passes brilliantly at Newcastle. They are a fantastic defensive team, but Jorginho was a massive difference. I say Paul Scholes is the best I've ever played with, and there was an example of what he used to do out on the pitch at Newcastle. In the most difficult atmospheres, in the most tense part of the season, against the most tenacious opposition, when it's the most difficult and everyone else wants to lump it up the pitch, who's going to get on the ball, take it when it's tight, poke it through midfield, get yourself into an attacking shape so that you can actually set off your attacking patterns, and do that religiously and repetitively through those kind of games. At Manchester United, that man was Paul Scholes. He did it for 15 years. What we saw from Jorginho at Newcastle was a class performance, a real class performance. Partey had shown some nerves and some edginess in the last few matches when the team needed composure, and I thought Jorginho demonstrated what you really do need when it's really at its toughest. It was a game Arsenal simply had to win, not by seven or eight goals, just win. I know hindsight is crystal clear, but Jorginho was brought in for a reason, and I think he would have helped keep things tight, ensured Southampton didn't score, and then created chances. I was shocked Fabio Vieira, who has not had a great season, played ahead of Jorginho, and Arsenal went on to draw the game. Jorginho manages the game. People say he cannot run, but you don't have to run, his brain is quick. You're better off having a quick brain than quick leg.